traveling down the coast, as I mentioned, we're going to meet up with a couple of mates and we've met up with Jason, who you can remember with Flo on our last trip, just parked off over here, and brothers Graham and Gareth. Now, interesting little piece of kit that I've come across. These guys come out and pretty much spend 10 days on a spot, camped out, and the biggest issue that you face normally is either fuel for your generator, water, and power, right? So power taken care of, fuel for the generator. But fresh water is always an issue. Graham being an explorer in his own sense has done a lot of overlanding through Africa, and his brother taken the other extreme and spent a lot of time on a yacht from Dubai to Southeast Asia. So the two of them spending a lot of time in a confined space, water is the biggest issue. And I believe they found the solution. If you're going to be parked off or camping in one spot and don't want to run into town or yeah, go and get fresh water all the time, this is the piece of kit that is an absolute must have. Let's go and meet Graham and let's go and have a discussion about this piece of kit. All right, so here we are. Graham. G'day. Thank you for joining us on the show. And your piece of kit over here is, I've never seen something like this before. So I haven't given a hint to, as to what it does. So give us a quick rundown and then we can run through how it actually works. Okay, so we camp a lot on the beach. So we decided what one of the main issues was is water, fresh water for drinking, showering, whatever you need. Yeah. So what we decided to do was buy a desalination plant, and this is what we have here. So we have our own reverse osmosis desalinator that is portable enough to bring to the beach, run off our generators and produce water. So <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere, I don't have to do anything. We sit on the beach, we set up and we run. Exactly. I mean, the amount of time that I've spent this December trip that we did and we were spent 10 days over New Year's and so on, every third or fourth day running to go and get water, replenish, you lose a day every time you go to town yeah, absolutely. and get back. Absolutely, and it's a nightmare. You know, sometimes you've got to pack down, you've got to leave people on the camp. Yeah. Sometimes water's not available. Here yeah. we have, because we're not so far from the town, but when you're in remote locations, water's two, three hours away. And so, the ocean's full of it. And the ocean's right here. So we made use of the, the sea to create our own fresh water. And now you can buy these portable solutions to do that. So it's, uh, yeah. So explain to me, how do you, so, so how does it work? I mean, obviously we're grabbing water from the ocean. So what are you running in the ocean, first okay. of all? Okay, so what we have in the ocean is a uh, borehole pump, a yeah. half horsepower pump, and we're sucking the sea up. So we pull the sea up, yeah. we pump it up into this reservoir here. Yeah. Once it goes into the reservoir, we can then run the Rain Man water maker from this. And we use the reservoir not only to get the water, but it's a safety factor. If okay. the water stops coming up, yeah. we don't want to blow the pump up. Ah. So we use the reservoir as the reserve so that we've always got water going through the, the RO machine. Because once it goes dry, you'll break it. Yeah, well, and the same thing, and as the tide goes in and out, if your reservoir is full and you've run out of water and you don't have to wait for the tide six hours I for the tide to I can produce change, enough. You can produce enough. I can produce enough. I mean, this swimming pool must hold 200 liters. Yeah, so the Rain Man itself will desalinate 100 liters an hour. Okay. So we can produce 100 liters of fresh water in, a, in an hour. Uh, the trailers take on board 140 litres a piece. Yeah. So we run two trailers. So we run three hours of water making every couple of days and we fill up completely, which is a, a really nice way of doing What's it. What's the output? So let's say there's 10 litres coming in. So it's an 80-20 ratio. Really? You, you produce 20% of what you use. Okay. So 80% is wastage. And then it just spits out that, that really, well, it's... it's well, yeah, it's... the back you'll see now, the, the back you'll see we've got a raw water line, which okay. is just heavy, heavy saline water because it's pumped through the membranes and out and that's just pure salt and water coming out of the back. That was the next question. So this runs on a membrane. It's not, it's not desalination where it actually heats it up and then makes the condensation and then the condensation becomes the water. water. It right. actually runs through a membrane and then filters the two. Correct, correct. So you're running yeah. the salt water through the membranes yeah. and the membranes are such that they're so fine that it just filters the salt out of it. Okay. So that's what happens. You're pumping water through, through the high pressure unit and it's a serious amount of pressure. If you look at the gauge, you're, you're upward of a few hundred PSI of pressure. All right, now we're busy filling up my truck. So we've got water coming from the ocean, probably about 50 meters away, 30, 40 meters away, into the, into the plant over here, and then running another 20 meters through to my truck, which I think we're overflowing. It looks like, I, just thought, I think it's just started to overflow. 
Just went and got my, my tanks are now full and this is the output over here and it's fresh, 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 fresh water. So sweet as hell, no salt left in it. Nothing, it's just and clean, it's, pure clean water. It's best water, I mean, I like drinking it. It's, it's, some of the, it's better than water you buy in town, to be honest. And uh, like you said, it's not just desalination, it's also uh, reverse osmosis. Yeah. So it's taken all the bacteria, anything Everything. out of it. So Everything. Not only working through salty water, but if you had to run through a really crappy... If we run in brackish water, brackish. we could actually produce more water because I don't have to put so much pressure on it. Okay. When you're running from raw water, you reduce the pressure slightly, which then means you, oh, your output will go higher. You yeah. get to about a 60-40 ratio with brackish water. Okay, so we talked about water coming up from the sea. So this yeah. is actually, this is salt water. Yeah, so this is pure ocean... Salt. Yeah. Sea. Very salty. Now you can see here what we're managing to do is keep up with it. So we're now overflowing. So this is pumping in. Yeah. And this pipe here is what's flowing into the PSU. All right, so from here it's going into that. It goes through, this is a high pressure unit. So yeah. this is a high pressure pump. Yeah. It comes out of the high pressure pump through this high pressure hose into the membrane here. It goes through your membranes and comes out through this white pipe. Okay. And this white pipe is now connected to the hose pipe that we take to our trailer. Rolling into the trailer, yeah. So that's how the whole unit works. And you can see here that we're pressuring up to somewhere around 800 PSI, which is an incredible amount of pressure. And that's what forces your water, and that's what delivers us the fresh water out the other side. And this is then your ex and this, this here is, your, your is the wastewater. Yeah. This is pure brine. So if you wanted a brine fish or something, you could yeah. use that water for that. But highly saline. Then what we do with it, every time we finish, we have fresh water buckets here that we rinse the whole thing with fresh just to clean it out. Yeah. And then when we pack it away, we got what's called pickling. Okay. And the pickling is based around the fact that it's a sodium metal metabolic it's only metabolic that I can't yeah. say it. Anyway, that goes in and cures it and stops any bacteria growing in your membrane. Okay. So that you never, your membranes don't get full of bacteria and badness because the sea is full of that sort of yeah. stuff. But uh, it's, it's like a living organism really. Correct. So you've got to treat it as such. Yeah. Correct, correct. And we run it off the Honda 2i generator. You know, oh, so yeah. you can buy a unit like this, which has its own built-in generator, which is the Honda 10. Yeah. Because they take the motor out, it's only a small gen you need it. But if okay. you run it separate, you must use the bigger one, which is what we carry anyway. Well, so. if you had a big enough inverter, you could run it off the inverter in no. your vehicle. 3,000 watt inverter no. wouldn't run? No, it wouldn't run. This takes serious amounts of power. Oh, okay. I think this is like 1,500 watt. Ah. So that's why we separated it, you see. <laughs> Well, that's why the Jenny is making so much noise because normally you can't hear these generators, yeah, so she's, she's pumping, pumping hard, okay. and that's it. And then the water goes through, and it's now connected to the trailer. And in an hour, my tank will be full. We'll do Gareth; he's another hour. We fill up all our water canisters yeah. with drinking water, and that's us done for three days. Shut it down, and we do it again in three days. Awesome piece of kit. Yeah, can't leave home without one. No. <laughs> And it's not that big, really. If you are pulling a trailer and you are going, there's enough space for it in a trailer. If you're, yeah. if you're in a very compact overland vehicle and you know you're going to areas where water is an issue, this will become a must. Sure, and you know, again, you can buy different size membranes. Okay. We decided, because we make water from boats, the higher the output, the better. Yeah. You want to make it as quick as you can. Yeah. Now, you can get much more smaller membranes that you can fit that are small like this, but they're only doing 30, 40 liters an yeah, hour. Okay. Which you can imagine when you're doing a few hundred liters, you're there all day. And the longer it runs, is it, that's where your fault can come in. So the, it's sucking in too much sand Correct. or it's doing whatever Correct. the case may be. So the quicker you make it, the better. Yeah. Awesome piece of kit. Hi, man. Thanks for showing us. Excellent. My, my pleasure.